There we go. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And sit up nice and tall. Find your sit bones and really just, there's a big difference between just sitting down and then adjusting, moving forward, moving to the side, moving your flesh around and finding that connection with your sit bones. And from there, think about your pelvis as being a big bowl, beautiful bowl. And we want that bowl to be not tipping forwards or backwards. So try and arrange your pelvis so that it feels level. And we're just using our feeling, we're just looking at our bodies throughout our practice. Um, we, don't we don't need to look outside at what our bodies look like. It's very important how we feel our way through our practice. And then from there, think about making space around this lower band. So that's space in the sides, space in the front, and space in the back. So we're just lifting, lift, 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 lift but still breathing, not holding on to our breath. So lifting, but not over-exaggerating the movement. With the ribs, as I just said, lifting a little. So sternum, think of your heart center as that being your point of where your energy goes out to everybody and you're able to absorb energy from everything around you and make sure that it's open. So taking the shoulders just a little bit back, lengthening through the neck, lifting the chin a tiny bit. And at the same time, trying to relax your thighs, not clenching your feet, relaxed feet, relaxed calves, and lifting. And let's breathe now. So closing your eyes, if you haven't already, arms relaxed, hands relaxed, and breathing in and out through your nostrils. So this week we are doing a, a controlled breath where we breathe in through the nostrils, we hold, we breathe out, we hold. So we've got a four part breath. So let's breathe in together. So breathing in through your nostrils and hold your breath and breathe out through your mouth and hold and in, hold and out. And hold and in, hold and out, hold and in. Take as much breath in as you can, expanding all the way right down into your belly and hold. And exhale fully. Hold on empty. And inhale. Now continue that breath at your own pace. Think about continuing to lift up with the crown of your head, making space so that you have lots of room to breathe in. And as you breathe out, make sure that you empty fully, get rid of all of the air in your lungs, pull your belly in, make it a long movement. You might want to change that timing in terms of when you're counting. So we were doing a breath together where we were counting in for four, hold for four, out for six, hold for four. So do what works for you. Try and hold until the point where you feel like you really would like another breath of air, but not till you're not to the point where you're gasping. So we're thinking in this practice as you continue that breath work about expanding, making space. So we're going to be stretching, we're going to be moving, 
and we are going to be allowing room for things to come that are waiting for us, just need space. Then allow your breath to come to an easy, relaxed, unconscious breath. And let's start out with waking up the feet and the legs. So extend your feet outwards. Bring your toes back towards your face. So your legs are out in Dandasan. And pull your toes as close to your face as you can. Send your heels away. So if you have to push your, lift your leg with your hands, or do it with just using the muscles in your legs, go ahead and draw your toes back towards you. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders broad and wide. Same word. How about broad and open? That's probably better. It's been a bit of a busy day today, so you'll have to forgive my word fluffs, I think. There'll probably be a few today. Hopefully I won't do any embarrassing ones. But you never know. Sitting up nice and tall, feel those sit bones dropping down into the ground, completely supported and giving you that brilliant, brilliant structure to start building up, taking your attention up your spine. All right, so let's get the feet moving. Take your toes out to the sides. So moving your toes, right toes going right, left toes going left. And think about how that feels in your hips, in your knees. I'm not doing anything here with my hands, just doing it all with the legs. So as far out as you can, what do you notice happening in your glutes? Do you feel like you're clenching your buttocks? Are you using all those muscles? I hope so. We're trying to wake up all those muscles in the pelvis. So out, out, out to the sides and release. Well done, bring your big toes together. And then slide your heels away. And see if you can bring those big toes down towards the mat. And again, noticing how that feels in your hips. Probably doesn't feel wonderful. We're just rotating in that joint. You've got a ball and socket joint there. So you're probably waking up some muscles. If you already have issues with the muscles in the sides of your hips, then go easy on this one. If you start feeling discomfort, just back off. There's still going to be lots of work going on in your legs. Still sitting up nice and tall, trying not to lean backwards too much. I'll have to use your core here to pull yourself forward so you're nice and upright. And then release. Probably feels quite nice to release, doesn't it? And let's take the toes away. So point your toes away. Trying to flatten out the whole of the top of your foot, each leg. Well done. Point, 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 point. Have you slumped or are you still sitting up nice and tall? And release. Now give them a bit of a wiggle and a shake from side to side. Let's bring the feet in. So bring your feet in probably about a foot in front of you. And just hold on here and let's go backwards and forwards. And again, noticing how that feels in the hips. You can make that movement as big as you like as big as your body will allow now for today. And you can use your hands to pull yourself forward. Again, discomfort, probably quite good. Pain, not so much. 
to back off from any pain. You want to add on with the breath and breathe out as you come forward. And breathe in as you come back up. One more time, make it as deep as you can. Lift the shoulders up towards the ceiling. Then folding forward, breathing out. And then bring yourself back up again. Well done. Let's come from here into a squat. So feet flat to your mat or on toes, whatever works for you. Come into a squat. Just hold there for a moment. Well done. Notice where you're feeling that, if at all. I've been walking up lots of hills recently, so my shins are shouting at me right now. And then let's take the knees out to the side. So knees go out and let your body come between. Give yourself some nice frog legs. So again, come up onto the balls of your feet and then your toes. So come back. Forward, use your hands to help you. There we go. Can you settle right down, taking your sit bones towards the ground as close as you can towards your mat? Lengthen through your spine. This is all very compressing, it's all very squished up there in your torso, and that's great because now and again quite helpful to give everything a bit of a massage. And then we're going to come from here up into a chair. So get ready to do some work, bring your feet back together. And you can take your hands up ahead of you or you can do whatever you need to do. If you want to challenge yourself, take your arms up here and then we come up to a chair pose. So don't go all the way up. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well done. Stop, stop, stop. Don't go too far. We need to be sitting in this chair. Squeeze. What are we squeezing? Squeezing the elbows towards each other. Making the hands strong. Keeping your head, the neck and back kind of roughly in line with each other. Sending your hips right back. How are you feeling here? Can you sit down a little more? Do you need to stand up a little more? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Well done. And let's take the hands forward, fold forward, easy forward fold, cross your arms, allow your head to completely relax here. No tension, no holding on to anything in your shoulders, in your jaw, in your face. Lengthen through your lower back, send your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Folding forward, very easy, relaxed pose. Let the weight of your arms just stretch out your back and your shoulders. Don't forget to breathe. We're allowing that lovely blood flow to the head. Let's give it some time. Let's give it a few moments. Feel the circulation in your face, improving. Nice, slow, steady breath. And take your hands down to the mat. Walk them forward and let's come into downward facing dog. So take your hands away. Heels moving down towards your mat. Lift your hips. This is a great asana for hips. Bringing your chest towards your knees trying to relax your head and neck. At the same time, lifting up out of your wrists, 
not collapsing down, keeping your shoulders strong, but away from each other. And then look forward to your hands and bring yourself down into an easy tabletop position. So let's be in our tabletop. Nice and strong, tops of the feet flat to the floor. And let's send the right leg out behind. So try and keep everything in line. Try and keep uh, your hips aligned how they are. And let's take the right leg out, pointing the right toes out behind you. And stay here. Let's be a little advanced. If it works for you, take your left hand out in front. Stay here for a breath. Okay, let's not come out of this just yet. Take your left hand out to the side and take your right leg out. Probably not as far, but out to the side as well. Try not to let them dip and then bring them back to the center line, still up and back down. Well done. Let's do the same on the other side. So right hand out this time, left leg out. Well, let's take them both out at the same time. Be strong. Let's see if you can squeeze the muscles in your calf and across your palm at the same time. And from there, strength in your leg and in your arm. Well done. And then let's take one more breath here. And out to the side. So leg out, arm out. Keeping that balance. How are you doing? Well done. And then back to center. Well done, well done. And back down. Bring yourself into child pose, into balasan. Stretch your arms away. And try to get your heels and your hips to have a little catch up here. Try and get them to touch. Well done, bring yourself up. Drag your arms up. Let's come into Gomukhasan. So slide yourself over to the right. Left heel is by your left sit bone. Try and make sure that both your sit bones are on the mat. Uh, the left one's going to want to start flying off. Don't let it. And then left leg comes over. Okay, so if you're a little bit stiff in your hips and this is painful, then just stay here. Keep the knee up. Or bring your leg over. Do what works for you. If you can, then Gomukhasan is cow face pose and we're stacking one knee above the other. This is really strong on your hip, especially on the hip of the leg, which is uppermost. So if it doesn't feel good for you, and we've all got, you know, it just depends on what we've been doing. It depends on our bone structure, our muscles. It depends on what we've been doing our whole lives, not just in the last few days or today. Depends on how we've slept, it depends on what we've been eating, how hydrated we are, as to how much our muscles would like to give and allow us to move. But also we don't want to aggravate something that is already dealing with another issue. So do what works for you for now. I think with yoga, we need to be very grateful for the things that come easily. We need to be very... Um, appreciative of what our body can do, but we also need to 
be accepting of where we are and then we need to practice that's it we just practice and the more we practice the more grateful we are for the things that come easily because things come easier let's sit up nice and tall all right so we have a left leg up and we're going to take the left arm up as well so reach up and take it behind you so reaching behind take your fingers just to touch your spine somewhere or other wherever they can reach and we're going to take the right arm around all the way let's open up that shoulder first elbow bends and then we try and touch our hands clasp our hands hold hands whatever works this is a great time to use a of course i don't have anything with me um uh, a shawl or a dressing gown cord or anything you could use a cushion let me see if i can use a cushion so i'm holding this with my top arm bottom arm comes around it's just being able to hang on and then you can gently guide and encourage so you can use your bottom arm to pull the top arm down a little opening up in the armpit all the way down the side of the body improving our blood flow in this very important space and area for us all those lymph nodes in there doing their stuff and then the same thing we can use the top arm to gently pull the bottom arm up and there we are working on the shoulder blade working on all those muscles in there or if you're very flexible you just hold hands and do it that way there's always an option so let's release now come out and then we can change around either slowly or you leave your feet where they are lift yourself up spin around and come to be on the other side it's magic i tell you it's just magic there we go so notice this side same as the other side uh, slightly more comfortable less comfortable are you needing to make an adaptation if you are please go ahead and make it listen to your body don't fight your body it's giving you messages and information all the time lift up with the right arm now stretch make that space in there first before you bend your elbow and bring your hand back down and then let's take the left hand to meet the right and breathe so now we're going to challenge ourselves by filling our lungs up improving our breathing while we sit here for a moment try to take any tension out of your jaw and your hips see if you can relax your hips let's hold this for a moment Think about what your feet are doing, what your toes are doing. Are you squeezing them, are you using the muscles or are they nice and relaxed? Have you got some space between your sternum and your belly button and between your belly button and your sit bones? Lift, breathe, and let's gently let go. Bring your arms back together. So let's take the arms together. Send your shoulders forward. Can you feel that? You take your fingertips as far in front of you as you can, bringing your shoulders towards you. And then keeping your hands here, slide your shoulders back. Slide them back. Well done. And let's release, release your legs as well. Bring yourself into a Badakonasan. This time, let's take the feet closer towards the body. We had the feet quite far away before. Bring them in. And that's a nice counter pose for what we were just doing with the hips. A nice relaxing opening of the hips. And let's hold the feet again. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, fold forward. Don't worry about how far you go or don't go. Well done. 
And we come back up again as you inhale. Now we're breathing out to fold forward. And bring yourself back up again. So let's take the feet out in front again. So bring your legs out into Dandasan, feet together. Inhale the arms up and exhale, fold forward. So fold forward all the way. Now let your head drop, take your chin to your chest. Feel that your head is heavy. The neck is long. Notice that stretch down the top of your spine, across the top of your back. Where are you feeling it? If you need to relax your arms and just let them come to either side of your legs on the floor, go ahead and do that. Try and find your peace and your repose and your rest in this asana. Don't forget to breathe. And as you breathe, in and out, make space. Allow yourself to, as you inhale, make space for that breath. And as you exhale, fold forward a little further. Gently bring yourself back up to sitting. And we're going to come from here into Ustrasan because we've done a lot of quite strong movements folding forwards with the hips. And we've also done some internal and external rotation and then crossing as well. So now we're going to stretch out the front of the body and uh, use some of our power. So come into a squat. And then let's come forward into a kneeling posture. Take your toes tucked under. Send your hips forward. So just pop your hands on your belly and send your hips back. Tuck your hips under. So we're, we're just moving that bowl forwards and backwards. So if it's easier, it might actually be easier just to have your hands on your hips and you're tucking, so squeezing your glutes, lengthening through the fronts of the thighs and then sending your bottom out, arching your back a little and squeeze, sending your hips forward. Okay, so let's come into Ustrasana. Now you know your body, you know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And unfortunately, I wish I was, but I'm not with you. So do what works for you. We can have the hands just gently over your kidneys. And then let's sway back. Think about what you're using here. Using your thighs using your core, and then lengthen through the front of the body as well. So take the shoulders back and down, lots of space between your chin and your belly button. We're not really making a big curve in the back right now, we're using the legs. Okay, so we're going backwards and forwards. It might not feel like a big motion, but you are making a difference and you're getting closer to your heels. Okay, so let's come from here into finding our heels. If you're happy to go into a and go ahead and go in. If you know that that's a tricky one for you, then let's just do one side today and then the other side. So not just one side, but one, then the other. And if a is is uh, okay for you, then go in how you like to go in. Maybe you like to come back and then find your heels. Or maybe you want to be opening up the shoulder, coming around, finding a heel and using that strength to allow you to pivot open and find the other one. What works for you? Think about what works and go ahead and do that. 
If this is all too easy, then of course, bring yourself into flat feet and you can do all sorts, have a little play. But if you open on one side, allow your head and your neck to be able to relax here a little bit. Try not to hold any tension. I know it's hard, but try. And don't forget, you also need to do the other side. We are nearly done with this. Carry on, keep going. You're doing really well. And when you're finished, time for some balasana, but this time with the knees wide. So take your knees out just to the edge of your mat. Slide your hands forward. Come in between your legs. Hands reaching forward. Forehead to the mat. And breathe. So a little more hip work, bring yourself back up. Tuck your toes under, come into downward facing dog. So of the Mukhasvasana, we're going to come from here into a hanging cobra. So look at your hands, bring yourself forward into a plank first. So let's find our peace and comfort and correct alignment in plank. Make space between your shoulders, squeeze your glutes. <laughs> I'm never wearing this t-shirt again for yoga. It's very unflattering, I look very pregnant. <laughs> and then take the tops of your feet to the mat, bring your hips down. So we're doing this bend again that we've got ready for with Ustrasan. So we're hanging, okay? My body is not touching the mat apart from my feet and my hands. So you need some nice strength in your arms here. Always good to have chest moving forward, lifting up out of your wrists. Relax chin and jaw and bring yourself down to your mat and come forward into Makara. So crocodile pose, one arm stacked on top of the other and your head and neck having a nice supported rest. Take a few breaths here. Allow your heels to drop out to the sides, relax your legs, relax your pelvis. Think about making space in your body. And filling that space with air. So as you breathe in, take that breath around your body. Take it right down into your belly, fill your lungs. Bring it right up into your throat so your breath makes you feel full before you exhale. And when you exhale, exhale fully. Get rid of all the breath. All right, let's do some more movement. Tuck your toes under, bring your hands either side of your chest. And let's lift up with the shoulders. Send your hips back, lift off, come into downward facing dog. And are you ready for a little bit of pigeon? So let's take the right foot to the left hand, right knee to the right hand, and then extend your back leg. So that's our left leg and send it away behind you. If you are feeling like your hips are still not completely open enough to do this comfortably, then allow your ankle and your foot to come in towards your body. And you can use your hands to lift yourself off a little. 
but if you can try and release that foot and extend your leg out. What we're looking for here is that lovely opening along the left side. So all the way from your knee up to your rib cage. And then on the right, we've got a different kind of stretch going on. We're opening up across the back. So a really confusing thing for the body to have to think about what it wants to release and where it wants to focus. And we will all feel this on different sides and we'll all feel it in different places. What do you want to do with your arms here? You can stay up or you can fold forward, send your arms out in front of you, do what you feel like doing, ring the changes, do a little bit of everything. And remember to breathe. And the challenge with this asana is to be able to find your comfort in the asana and settle in. But we're not going to do that right now. We're not holding for five minutes. Don't worry. Tuck your toes under. Let's lift up. So lift, release that right leg, take it back and bring yourself now into a plank. Take the tops of your feet towards the mat and bring yourself into a very high cobra or a floating cobra or an upward facing dog, your choice. Choose whichever one you prefer and then tuck your toes under. Let's come back into downward facing dog again. Send your sit bones right up to the ceiling. And then look to your hands and let's come into pigeon on the other side. So left foot comes forward, left knee comes forward, right leg slides back. And just do what works for you here. Use props if you need to. So a cushion under your right thigh, just under the thigh will allow you to sit deeply into this posture and relax. And that's what we want. We want to find that ease here. So if you need it, get that cushion. If you moved forward and you were lying forward, on the other side, do the same again this side. And think about your intention for your practice. What was your intention with coming to yoga today? Did you have an intention? Has one come into your head as you've been practicing? Do you have something that is burning a hole in its intensity of your desire of something that you want for yourself? Or have you had to fish around and really think about it and choose between different things? Or have you struggled to think of something at all today? Sometimes our sun kalpas, we just can't stop thinking what our intention is, what we want for ourselves. And other times it's hard to know what to focus on. And that is just life. That's just how it is. It's not good or bad. It doesn't say anything about us particularly, certainly not our personalities or our characters. It might say something about our lifestyle that we've been practicing, but that changes from moment to moment. So learning to think about yourself without judgment, without criticism is one of the most powerful things you can do for yourself. And let's bring ourselves back up. Tuck your toes under. Let's take that leg back. 
Let's come into downward facing dog again. And notice how different both sides of your hips feel, left and right. If you can, while you're here, lift your toes, straighten your legs, keep those shoulders broad and strong. Well done. Take your knees to the mat and come into child pose, sending your arms forward and your forehead down and then release your arms. Take your arms either side of your body. If you prefer, or if you'd rather keep them extended, go ahead and keep them extended. Do what works for you for today, for now. And take a few nice relaxing breaths here. Well done. Bring yourself up to sitting. Come into an easy cross legged pose. Sit up nice and tall. Feel your sit bones connected. And we're going to come into a little bit of a twist. So, right hand to left knee. Just feel that connection. Feel how strong and how solid your knee is. And then from there, just pushing down gently, open up the chest, lift the heart center, and let's take the left arm out. Let's make it big and expansive. So stretch the arm out to the side and then take it behind you quite high. Let's go as high as we can and stay level. Look around to the left as well. Use your right arm to pivot you as much as possible and then take your left arm down to the ground. Now you can use those fingertips to walk yourself around a little further. And if you want to do what you need to do with your right hand, maybe it's taking the outside or the top of your hand against your leg that will give you that little bit of extra purchase, that extra movement. And don't forget your eyes. Let's use those eye muscles looking around. Maybe you can see the bridge of your nose. Maybe you can see the side of your eye socket. Well, hopefully the side of your face, not inside your skull. And lift, keep lifting. Feel that there's a little string holding you up like a puppet. And breathe. Can you take that left shoulder back a little further? There you go. A little bit more movement in the ribs. And release. So look forward. Head comes forward. Release your arms. Ah, I hope you felt that that was a good twist. So let's do the same again. So sitting up, sit bones, spine. Think of all those teacups. And then left hand to right knee and right arm opening up to the side, opening up all the way behind you before coming down to the ground. And then using both arms, using your hands, twisting around. Think of your beautiful spine. Keeping it mobile, stopping accumulation of any gunk that stops us from having that full range of motion and movement. Don't forget the eyes if you're always all the way around, rather. And breathe. Have you got a little bit more to open up? Can you take that right shoulder back? Can you squeeze your shoulder blades together? And release, eyes, head, arms, spine, inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Take your hands to the mat, take your forearms to the mat. Drop your head. 
tuck your chin to your chest. Enjoy that space that you've made for yourself. And let's curl to come up to uncurling, rather, uncurling all the way up. So we're going to come into our Shavasan. And let's go there via a little bit more action in the hips and, of course, the core as well. So let's come into um, almost a Navasan, but we have our heels still on the mat. Take yourself back, find your balance spot, and let's just take the legs off just a little. Hold on, hold on to your knees. Wait till you've got that length and strength in your spine. No rounding, drawing your shoulder blades together just slightly. And let's hold on to the left leg and send the right leg out. Send your right foot out. And you lift it a little higher. This is very strong, well done. If you need a rest, bring your leg down a little lower and a little lower. And then let's swap. So don't take it down to the ground, bring it up. All right, let's hold on to that left leg. It's just been doing all that nice hard work. And let's extend the left. So right leg gets a bit of a, le a rest. Left leg doesn't work. Don't round your shoulders here. Open your chest. No tension in your chin and your jaw. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Well done, lower very gently. Oh yeah, I'm pinging. There we go, all the way, almost to the ground and then bring it back up. So now hug your knees in, give them a nice big hug, wrap your arms around, take your forehead down to your knees. A little bit of a balanced posture. Close your eyes if you wish. And then we're going to roll. So let's rock and roll down to the mat. Make sure you have enough room. So roll down and up. A little bit of a massage in your spine. If this is appropriate for you. If not, come down to the mat. Hold on to your knees. Give them a hug. Give them a little bit of a rock from side to side. Ah, uh, There we go. Well done. So let's just get the... Hips to do a little bit more work, why not? Holding on to your left, squeeze it in, let the right come up. I'm talking legs here, and then let's just take that right leg down towards the ground, nice and slow. Slowly down. almost to the floor. And then let's take that foot out to the side. So out to the right, just a little. And then back to center. And then bring that right leg all the way up again. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And let's swap. So let's grab hold of the right. Give it a nice squeeze into your chest. Left leg comes up and heel, making slow, gentle, steady, controlled progress down towards the ground. Have you got lots of tension in your shoulders? Can you let go? Can you manage to hold on to your right leg? Squeeze it into your chest 
and still relax your shoulders. There's a challenge. Use your breath as you breathe out to allow your shoulders to rest and relax. And then if we are down, almost at the ground, let's take it out to the left. So, whoops, I've got a chair in the way. Left leg goes out left. And left leg comes back to the center line. Over to the right a little bit and then back up. Slowly, slowly, slowly back up all the way. And bring it in, bring it in. Give yourself a lovely hug. Oh, you deserve such a lovely hug. If you haven't got one from anyone else, grab this one from yourself. And squeeze up, take your forehead to your knees. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And well done. Take yourself into Shavas. Ah, spread out. Take up lots of room. Take up all the space. Be supported. Be completely and utterly at rest. Allow your feet to just flop wherever they wish. Make space between your arms and your body. Make space everywhere in your body. Send your hands away from you and then allow your arms to rest. Send your heels away, maybe your right leg, then your left. Lift your legs off one by one and place them down. Lift your head, make space in the neck. Push your head down, lift your shoulders up, lay them back down again. Have a good little period of adjusting, of stretching, of making space. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Think about your breath. Slow and deep and even and consistent. Okay, now as you lie there, think about taking up as much space as you possibly can and then squeeze the muscles in your toes. Squeeze them as tight as you can. Take that squeeze all the way up into your feet, into your ankles, into your calves, into your knees, into your thighs, into your pelvis, into your belly, your chest, your hands, your arms, all down your spine into your jaw, into your face. Scrunch up everything. Squeeze your muscles as tight as you possibly can. Bring the muscles of your face to squeeze your features into the middle of your face. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax, let everything go. Take a deep breath. Now I want you to do that again. Take those muscles in a wave up your body, starting from your feet and all the way up to your head. Squeeze, feet, legs, hips, torso, arms, neck, shoulders, head, face. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Don't breathe, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze harder. And relax, take a deep breath in. And out. Okay, this is the last one. We're going to do this again. This time I want you to squeeze even harder. This is the last one. Squeeze as hard as you possibly can. Think that you are almost wringing yourself out like a cloth and you are squeezing everything so that when you take that breath, when you let go, you will allow as much space in your body as possible. So let's start. Toes, feet, ankles, moving up your legs in a way. Take it all around your body, torso, arms, shoulders, your back, your glutes. Have you forgotten any little part of your body? Neck, face, scalp, ears, teeth, everything. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Just a little bit. Can you go any harder? Have you got a little bit more in there? And release. Let go. Let go. Breathe. 
and enjoy that breath. Take it right down into every single part of you. Feel that space, feel that expansiveness and feel that the universe has got your back. The universe is always sending you little messages, looking after you, giving you what you need, even though sometimes we don't see what it is that's in front of us. And sometimes the delivery mechanism can be a bit odd, but trust that the universe has your back. Trust that the energy and the light and the warmth and the love and everything that you need is out there. It's circling around you at all times. And when you make space and when you consciously look for that energy, it will be there for you. Take a deep breath in. And out. And in again. And as you breathe out, gently, slowly come to rest on your right side. You are where you're meant to be. You are who you're meant to be. And the more you are like you, the better. Because everyone else is taken. And you are your most perfect version of you. So gently and slowly, eyes closed, bring yourself up to sitting when you're ready. Your hands to heart center. Take your chin to your chest, your forehead towards your fingertips. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you open your eyes. Allow a sense of gratitude for all that you are, all that you have, and all that you will be, to just wash over you, make a nice, soft, gentle wave, and gently bring your head up, and namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, both of you, and all of you, and um, I hope you feel open. I hope you feel expanded and I hope you realize how amazing you are and what you are capable of because the sky is the limit. <laughs>